Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm very excited to share with you a true grand complication from a Hout brand. This is a Glashhuta Original, and what's really cool here is this is a true perpetual calendar done entirely mechanically. And you can see the movement, we'll get into all the details here through a Sapphire Exhibition case back. But this watch, oh, this is really cool because this is a level that is beyond Rolex. You know, when you get tired of Rolex, you get tired of Omega and Breitling and Zenith, and you wanna see what the next step is like, this is the next step. Glashhuta, Patek, Vacheron Constantin, Jigolo Kutra. Uh, there's some really cool stuff, a whole nother world up above Rolex that, I don't know, is just fascinating to me. It's really cool what people are able to design and execute and create at such a high level. I think when this retailed, uh, when it was in production, this has since I think been replaced by a, a, by a senator, um, but this was I think $17,000. And what do you get for that type of money? Well, I hope throughout the course of this video, you guys can see the detail work, the execution, what makes a Hout watch desirable? Why do people spend money uh, on something that could be done by an Apple Watch, you know, give you the day and time and month and if it's a leap year, what's, what, what the moon phase is and stuff. That's just boring though. I mean, look at this. You'd rather have something like this, obviously, if you could afford it on your wrist. So let's talk about it. We have a beautiful rectangular shape. This is a rare shape. You, normally when we think of Glashuta, you think of the round senators or the panos, uh, but it's cool to see this rectangular one that's done very well. It's nice and I guess you could say chunky or beefy. Beautiful um, shaped sapphire crystal here that carries some nice distortion and anti-reflective treatment. You can see that very balanced dial with a lot of clarity. Uh, rhodium plated applied markers that grab light very well, beveled hands. And what I love is just how well laid out it is. You have on the left up here, your day of the week. Uh, exactly opposite on the dial is your month of the year. Down here is your moon phase. Down here, opposite of that is your grand date which is oh, just beautifully done. We'll get into more detail on that in a minute. Now you can't see it because the hour hand is obscuring it, but underneath that hour hand, just below the Glashhuta branding is a, uh, is a hole in the dial beneath which you can see a red indicator and that indicates whether or not it is a leap year. So this is a true perpetual calendar and it's beautiful. It has that nice symmetry. It has the sharp, rich detail up close on a macro level. Uh, again, let's look at this grand date. Most grand dates, each digit ring is, is on a different plane from each other. It's easier to produce, uh, but not Glashhuta. They didn't go that route. Each one of those uh, digits is on the same plane, even though they're different disks, if that makes sense. And from afar, oh, you can't tell that they're separated. They, it just looks like one large grand date. But you get up close on a very macro level like this, and you can see that subtle uh, line separating the two digit wheels. And uh, it's just so interesting they're able to get that on the same plane. That's a level of detail that you expect to see on a Hout brand such as this one. Now let's take a look at the movement here, which is, I don't know, probably even more impressive to look at uh, just with what they're able to do mechanically. Now before we look at it, just take a look at the case shape here. We have a curved case back that's bolted on with multiple point screws, nice brushing. You can see deep cursive engraving there. And even your sapphire crystal is curved to match. That is nice, again, nice attention to detail. Now taking a look at this beautiful movement, it might be a little less ornate that you might have imagined. Some brands, I think they might go a little bit over the top just because they can, but since this is a beautiful German brand, they go with, yes, beautiful finish work, but not ornately so. I think just the right level where you can appreciate what they're doing, that you can appreciate the detail work. Uh, you can see even on that barrel wheel, how they finished that with that spiral finish. Uh, you have, of course, Geneva striping, uh, you have perlage work that's very nice. And then your rotor, 
the outer portion of that road or that gold tone is actually uh, 21 karat gold. And since gold has such a nice mass and weight to it, uh, this rotor really can, uh, you know, can get spinning around just by an average movement of your wrist. So I don't know, it's a fun experience to wear this watch and to look at the beauty and the details and just how well it's done, how nicely and sharp it's executed because that is a big deal with watches at this price point, you want to see the detail, the attention to detail, the sharpness and clarity and uh, cleanliness here. This is, uh, oh, this is just beautiful and so much fun to take a look at. Now the watch is, is placed on an alligator strap uh, with a deployant buckle here. I'll give you some wrist shots. My wrists are 7.25 inches in circumference. I love the weight, how it sits, how proud it is. When you have a watch at this price point, Really, it's not about practicality. It's about the feel and the presence. And this watch has it. It's a lot of fun. And it's nice to see all the balanced complications here. And I don't know, this is, I can see why people want to step up above Rolex and they want to experience the next level and they want to enjoy it. This is definitely one of those watches. So anyways, guys, I want to give a big thank you to my friend, Chris, who owns this watch. Uh, he's a local friend and watch fan here in Utah, and he appreciates everything from G-Shock and Seiko up to Rolex and Glashuta. so a big thank you to Chris. And then one last note, if anyone has been searching for one of these more rare rectangular case, true perpetual calendars, uh, this one is available for sale. So if you have the budget and we're looking north of five figures here, you're welcome to reach out to me via email. That email is in the comments. I'll get you in touch with Chris. You guys can talk pricing and details, uh, but he is willing to let this go and it has had a fresh service at the Swatch Group. So uh, if anyone is interested in that, uh, let, let me know, reach out to me in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for taking the time to watch guys. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any specific questions and I'll see you in the next video.